Chapter 19 In the third month, after the children of Israel had gone forth out of the land of Egypt, on that same day they came into the wilderness of Sinai. When they had departed from Rephidim, and had come to the wilderness of Sinai, they encamped in the wilderness, and there Israel encamped before the mountain. Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him out of the mountain, saying, This is what you shall tell the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings, and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be my own possession from among all peoples, for all the earth is mine. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests, and a holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak to the children of Israel. Moses came and called for the elders of the people, and set before them all these words which the Lord commanded him. All the people answered together and said, All that the Lord has spoken we will do. Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, Behold, I come to you in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with you, and may also believe you forever. Moses told the words of the people to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their garments, and be ready against the third day, for on the third day the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people on Mount Sinai. You shall set bounds to the people round about, saying, be careful that you don't go up onto the mountain, or touch its border. Whoever touches the mountain shall surely be put to death. No hand shall touch him, but he shall surely be stoned, or shot through. Whether it is animal or man, he shall not live. When the trumpet sounds long, they shall come up to the mountain. Moses went down from the mountain to the people, and sanctified the people, and they washed their clothes. He said to the people, be ready by the third day. Don't have sexual relations with a woman. It happened on the third day when it was morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud on the mountain and the sound of an exceedingly loud trumpet and all the people who were in the camp trembled. Moses led the people out of the camp to meet God and they stood at the lower part of the mountain. Mount Sinai, the whole of it, smoked because the Lord descended on it in fire, and its smoke ascended like the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. When the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spoke, and God answered him by a voice. The Lord came down on Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain. The Lord called Moses to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. The Lord said to Moses, Go down, charge the people, lest they break through to the Lord to look, and many of them perish. Let the priest also who come near to the Lord sanctify themselves, lest the Lord break forth on them. Moses said to the Lord, The people can't come up to Mount Sinai, for you charged us, saying, Set bounds around the mountain and sanctify it. The Lord said to him, Go down, and you shall bring Aaron up with you. But don't let the priest and the people break through to come up to the Lord, lest he break forth on them. So Moses went down to the people and told them. Chapter 20 God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourselves an idol, nor any image of anything that is in the heavens above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow yourself down to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children, on the third and on the fourth generation of those who hate me, and showing loving kindness to thousands of those who love me, and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You shall labor six days and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. 
You shall not do any work in it, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, your manservant, nor your maidservant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land which the Lord your God gives you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. All the people perceived the thunderings, the lightnings, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. When the people saw it, they trembled and stayed at a distance. They said to Moses, Speak with us yourself, and we will listen, but don't let God speak with us, lest we die. Moses said to the people, Don't be afraid, for God has come to test you, and that his fear may be before you that you won't sin. The people stayed at a distance and Moses drew near to the thick darkness where God was. The Lord said to Moses, This is what you shall tell the children of Israel. You yourselves have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. You shall most certainly not make alongside of me gods of silver or gods of gold for yourselves. You shall make an altar of earth for me, and shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your oxen. In every place where I record my name I will come to you, and I will bless you. If you make me an altar of stone, you shall not build it of hewn stones, for if you lift up your tool on it you have polluted it. Neither shall you go up by steps to my altar, that your nakedness may not be exposed to it.